Hi guys, in today's video we have a Mazda 6 2008 model year and warning lights from ABS, dynamic stability control and traction control. I've checked for errors and found the following trouble codes. Left hand wheel speed sensor, circuit open. left front ABS sensor signal stuck low and the same sensor signal rate of change above threshold. After clearing of DTCs none of them is coming back so I went for a test drive and recorded data from all the speed sensors. Initially no DTCs were triggered but look at the left front wheel speed there is some variation. Somewhere at half of the recording came on all warning lights and the same DTCs at approximately one kilometer since clearing. It turned up that the wheel speed sensor had been replaced. I checked the sensor for a poor connection worn through or nix. Then I attempted to inspect visually for any damage on the magneting ring. It appears that there is not enough access to do so. I've checked the wheel bearing for noise or excessive play. Everything was okay. So I decided to connect an oscilloscope. Here is visible that the magnetic encoder is damaged, missing signal mark with red arrows. And here I have one tip for you. When diagnosing with an oscilloscope, you look in at the signal wave appears to be distorted or straight line and you are sure that everything on the vehicle wiring harness and control module side is okay, you may consider your ABS sensor malfunctioning. Here comes the importance of using the oscilloscope. Out of experience, approximately 80% of results are faulty mm -hmm. sensors. 20% of cases are something else. The percentage may vary depending on the age of the vehicles. And now comes the question, would you like to have 20% of unhappy customers or replace an unnecessary part? If you wonder how to connect an oscilloscope, so there you go. The black probe goes to a ground point. The red one to signal which is output of the wheel speed sensor. The connection between the vehicle and the sensor cannot be interrupted. Ignition must be on and to generate the signal we need to spin the wheel. If you cannot find the output connect the red probe to opposite wire, which is black in this case, and spin the wheel. If signal is generated that's your output. The signal you see on the screen comes from an older Mazda 6 with an analog ABS sensor. The previous sensor we diagnosed was a digital ABS sensor. The connection principle will be the same in both instances. To make your job easier you can adjust oscilloscope settings like time and voltage. Then the wave patterns will be more legible. I removed the steering knuckle to replace the wheel bearing. A closer look at the magneting ring shows some damages like scratches in this place. Chipped parts here. and more scratches. For better inspection you could use uh, a magnetic ring tester. 
Here is how the magnetic ring should look like on the new wheel bearing. On the rest of the video I included a quick overview of wheel bearing replacement. We need to support the steering knuckle on the bottom and press out the flange. Then remove the retaining ring. Support the steering knuckle with a cylindrical tool bigger than the bearing. Press the wheel bearing out. Be careful not to damage the sensor. Inspect for damages and clean erode surfaces. Apply some lubrication on the bearing outer race and press it in using an old wheel bearing outer race. If you apply pressure on the inner race, you will damage the bearing. Press in until significant resistance. Assembly a new retaining ring. Next, we need to cut the inner race so that you don't cut through the flange. Use a chisel and hammer it firmly so the ring cracks. Then you can remove it with your fingers. We need to smoothen this edge so the bearing will be in its place. The flange has two cuts under a different angle, meaning two wheel bearings replaced already. Support the flange and press it in using the inner race of the wheel bearing. Next, assembly the steering knuckle starting from bottom control arm, half shaft and brake disc, top control arm, brake caliper, plug-in wheel speed sensor, and fasten the truck rod end. Thanks for watching, see you on next one.